Adi Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple G, stopped David Lemieux in the eighth round to become the undisputed middleweight champion. Golovkin has now stopped 21 consecutive opponents and improved to a perfect 34-0 with 31 knockouts. His knockout percentage is the highest in middleweight championship history and a better clip than Mike Tyson after 34 fights. Triple G said that Mayweather is the only fighter that he dropped down to 154 to fight. Stephen A., he joined you on your radio show, The Stephen A. Smith Show, and he said he would fight Mayweather. Do you think he should? Well, I think he should. I don't think Mayweather should. Why? I think Mayweather needs to avoid him like the plague. He's just too big and he's too powerful for Mayweather. And I think that when you look at Mayweather, listen, I think that Mayweather is a boxing magician defensively. He's just something special to behold. Um, there is no question about it. But at the same time, one hit from this guy could knock anybody into tomorrow. I mean, David Lemieux, that's what I call him, Lemieux. He's from like Montreal, he's Flinch, and, and all of this other stuff. Knockout power, <laughs> but you know something? He could not escape Triple G's jab all night long. Triple G hit him with so many jabs, it looked like the guy's face was painted red for crying out loud. If you think I'm exaggerating or engaging in hyperbole, go watch the fight for yourself. I watched it from start to finish. David Lemieux was, was game, but in the end, he had no business in that ring with Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, because Triple G is just a superior boxer, and obviously this guy can punch, and he's got speed, but he, he he's not a boxer, and he got exposed by Triple G. Fair enough, he was courageous, I give him credit for it. Mayweather is, in the, is a different beast, and to me, Mayweather could win this fight by simply making Triple G miss. That's the only way. He can't hurt Triple G. Mm -hmm. Okay, can't hurt him. The, kid is, the guy's just too big, too strong. And more importantly, he has absolutely positively nothing to gain. You stay away from a dude like this. Now, if he's in your division, I don't care how powerful he is. I don't care what kind of knockout artist he is. That's somebody you're supposed to fight. Mm -hmm. A matter of fact, if Triple G was a natural welterweight, I would have been all over Mayweather to fight him. But he is two weight classes above Mayweather. He is a knockout artist. We're talking about the only person with the potential to beat him is Andre Ward, who's a weight class above him at 168. We're talking about how Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez don't need to go near this dude. Anybody in boxing would agree with that. So I don't think Mayweather should go near him either. You don't. He is too small for this guy. Stay the hell away from him. Oh, Skip. I I, I got to, I'm going to preface what I'm about to say, because I couldn't <laughs> wait to get the floor here. I know, Look at that I know, smile. Yeah. I know, I know. Look, I, I do respect your boxing knowledge, mostly, mostly. You know You, you, you have know a couple of holes you in it. You know ain't no holes. Yeah, we just disagree, but ain't no yeah, holes. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> but of all the things that have ever come out of your mouth on this show, mm -hmm. on live television, That's right. about the sport of boxing, oh. That's right. this, this is the most shocking to me oh, that, that you were saying that floyd mayweather jr would would you're actually proposing that he would get hurt if he dared to take on this man no it's not it's not so much that skip i'm just saying that the guy is too he's too big for mayweather okay. and it's not just so much that he'd get hurt if the guy hit him which i don't know if he would but it's that mayweather it, it, it's not it's not you thought that if if you know how you got on Mayweather because you think he's running? I would get on Mayweather for not running in the ring from this guy. Don't go near him. He, don't he go runs near him. from everybody in every ring and he I'm, ever and gets I, in. And, I, and I'm telling you right now, it is nothing compared to how he should run okay. if he gets in the ring with okay. Triple G. And by the way, in fairness to Mayweather, in fairness to Mayweather, he and I have spoken about this. He completely and emphatically disagrees with me. He disagrees really? with me. He says he could beat anybody. He well, thinks he well, could that, beat that, anybody. That's my so point. Fight, right. fight. He thinks he could beat I, anybody. I mean, I mean, listen, I have sat here for years and years and had you tell me, this is the greatest defensive fighter in the history of boxing. I Am I right about I that? Do. And I okay. feel that way. So, I so really do. As great really as do. Triple G is, it's not like he weighs 225 and it would be completely unfair because he would just maul poor little Floyd as he tried to box because he can't hurt anybody. Let's, let's look at the facts here. Floyd Mayweather has fought as high as 154 twice. He fought okay. De La Hoya at 154, and he fought Cota just But they just were both three. moving okay, up. Okay, but, but I'm saying 154. Floyd is capable of fighting at 154. And Golovkin, 
as late as 2011, got all the way down to 156 to fight, okay? I don't even know his opponents because I don't even know who they are. And I don't care who his opponents are because I'm not sure about him that much yet, the way you're David sure. Triple G? Well, I'm just not you sure. You about Triple well, G? I, I want to see somebody yeah, yeah, legit yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? You know what? He's, he's okay. made legit folks right. look you, you know what I see? You, you know what I see? Power is in you, you know what I see? I get the power. I get the power. I, I see slower hands and slower feet than I thought. That's what I'm seeing in Golovkin. Really? With, with Floyd, I'm, I'm giving you this on a silver platter. I'm saying Floyd is the greatest defensive fighter defensive ever. Fighter. I buy it. Defensive I, fighter. Okay, he, he would run rings around this guy. Mm -hmm. He would make him look bad. Mm -hmm. and, and you said, well, Floyd can't, can't hurt him. Well, Floyd can't hurt anybody. I disagree why, why with would that. We even, I disagree with I mean, that. he can't hurt let, Manny let, let, Pacquiao, can for heaven's sake. Allow me to allow me with one arm. May I interject? Yeah. May I interject? And, and like I said, can we, can we espouse my boxing? Now, let me break this down to you, okay? Skip Bayless. Floyd Mayweather does is he's risk averse. He does not take chances, but he could have hurt Oscar De La Hoya. He could have hurt Canelo Alvarez. He could have hurt Manny Pacquiao. I'm telling you, Floyd really? Mayweather, I'm telling you, Floyd Mayweather can get in the ring and hit Gennady Golovkin mm. with his best shots, and Triple G will walk right through it. Okay. Right through but, 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 it. And, and, and that is the difference. I am saying to you, I'm to, and first of all, let me tell you something about Triple G. His quickness is more deceptive than you realize. His footwork is fantastic. He cuts off the ring better than most boxers you will have ever seen. He's got power in both hands. And unlike Cotto and Canelo and Oscar, where you're moving up, but you really are welterweights that are moving up to the junior middleweight for the better fights or the super welterweights for the better fights, let me tell you something. Triple G would have to come down okay. because his, I mean, he walks around in the 170. The boy. Boy, is it, it, I'm telling you, I've stood next to We're both of them. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather I, I, here. I, 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 think, okay. I just think, listen, I'm the same guy with the heavyweight division. That's why I'm disgusted by it, because I can't stand the Klitschko brothers coming in 30, 40 pounds heavier, five, six, seven inches taller than everybody they fight. It's disgusting to me. I don't think that that's good in boxing. When you talk about heavyweights, I think the max should be 220. I really, really do. You know, it should, it should be that way. You talk about light heavyweights, you got to meet at the 175 range. You talk about the cruiserweights, you got to meet at the 190 to 195 range. You talk about the welterweights. I, I got it. It's just but different, see, Roy man. Jones would just say, just stop it. So, it, it. Roy Jones would fight up. He fought heavyweights, right? Roy, Roy Jones? Yeah. Roy Jones fought. Uh, listen, I don't want to disrespect okay. my man Roy because you Come know on, I know I'm just Roy. Saying, he he would do fought it. John Ruiz. He did. I John saw Ruiz, minimal power, even less boxing How much skill. more did John Ruiz even weigh? For the night of the fight, he weighed about 10, 15 pounds okay. heavier. Right. But I'm just saying, you know, you talk about the heavyweight fights or whatever, but I'm just saying that welterweight, junior middleweight, that's a different ball game, Skip. Okay. All right. Dr Dr Roy, okay. I'm saying to, I'm going to flare it to Floyd again. I'm going to say it to Floyd again because he disagrees with me. He just, when I did the interview with him before the pack, he disagreed with me. He believes, he said, you put him in front of me, I'll mow him down. That's Floyd. Well, so this is it. me talking. This is not him. He believes he can beat anybody. Me? Stay away from Triple G. He's too small. He's superior, but he's too small. Okay, he could avoid. He could avoid ninety-eight percent. Point of, of order. Point of order. Was about speaking of Go too ahead. small. If we just do tail of the tape here, right? Even though Floyd is certainly shorter at mm -hmm. five eight than what's Golovkin go five, five ten, ten and a half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Reach. Golovkin, 70 inches. Floyd, 72 inches. Oh, Floyd's got two inches of reach on him. And he's the greatest <sighs> defensive fighter ever. And you're telling me, Floyd, don't do it. Don't do it. You'll get crushed by this point. And, 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 and in fairness to you, yeah. let me throw myself under the rug here. Sugar Ray went up to light heavyweight for Donnie Lalonde. Yeah. Uh, Hearns was a welterweight, ultimately fought Hagley, even though he had fought in the middleweight. Got knocked out by Iran Barkley when he was a middleweight, but that's neither here nor there. Mar I didn't see Marvin, when Marvin Hagler fought Roberto Duran, that was after Roberto Duran was away from the game, but then he came back and was fighting the junior middleweight, middleweights, whatever. I'm saying that these guys put on weight later on in their life and they was walking around. That's entirely different. Floyd is fighting at 147. We're talking about Triple G okay, here. And Who's yeah. going to fight Andre Ward at 168 okay, eventually? Right. Triple I mean, G. It's a different ball game. If you told me Triple G was 23 years of age, I'd say, you know what, maybe that'd be a little shaky for Floyd. Mm. 
Triple G is 33 years of age, and Floyd's now 38, but at least he's getting up there as Triple G. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, you know, it, it's it's shocking disrespect that you're paying yeah, your yeah, man but, Floyd but, but, but here. You can yeah. call it disrespect, but keep in mind, when Floyd was supposed to fight at the 154 limit, he came in under that limit. He came in under there. So it's, 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 it's pressing for him to get up to that weight. I'm just saying to you that... Don't bring up other fighters that Floyd fought at, at supposedly 154. They moved up too. They're not natural middleweights. Gon Golovkin is a natural middleweight. Okay. He's too I'm, big. I'm going to be on He's record here big. already. Okay. If this ever happens, I will pick Floyd to win this unanimously and easily. He will yeah. box rings around Golovkin if they ever fight. And you want to talk about a payday? If there's one more big pay uh, obviously Pacquiao too would be something of a payday. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would say, I, I saw it uh, once. And I, I will say it. this to but you. This would be a payday. And I will tell you this. Unlike Pacquiao, who talked the talk, you know, mm -hmm. like he's very good to me. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then took the selfies of himself with Freddie Roach, the great Freddie Roach. Okay, love and your shoes. point I'm is? I'm wearing the Tom Ford yeah, shoes, Freddie okay. Roach, by the way. They're yeah, beautiful. Yeah. The point that I'm trying to make to you is this. They are nice. They can talk all that junk that they want to. Mm -hmm. Triple G is a different beast. Okay. This dude right here, I'm trying to tell you something right now. I'm not saying that Floyd couldn't beat him because, again, Floyd could Floyd could avoid getting hit by yep. anybody. Okay. But and if speaking, he gets hit by Triple G... Speaking of talking I, junk, I, my final point I'd is, just last this. week, okay. before the Lemieux fight... Lemieux, yeah, Lemieux. Guess what? what Lemieux. I, re I read this quote in USA Today right. from your man Triple G. He's your new... Your new guy, right? He's Triple the man. G? He's okay, the man. he's your man. He's the man. He's Triple the G said right of Floyd Andre Mayweather. Andre Ward will beat him. Andre Ward will beat him. I don't care. You should. This Andre is Ward's what he said. You were talking, talking junk. Right. This is Golovkin on Mayweather. He says Mayweather is not a real guy. I see him as being a big fake inside and outside. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, that's just promotion. Talking junk. Well, okay, listen, listen, but uh, listen, he's listen, calling listen. him out. Listen, Triple G is calling that him out. He's a nice guy. He's just trying to promote to get okay. him in the ring. That's all I want to see it. That's you want to see it? Is. Yeah, I'll buy it. He's all too right. small. Yeah. He's too small for Triple G. Stop discouraging He's too small. Floyd, don't go near him. Stephen A says Floyd has no shot. Floyd, don't go down. I love Floyd. No shot. He will get hurt. In this Listen, fight, I love Floyd Stephen the boxer, a. the best defensive fighter of ever, period. Do not go against Triple G. He's too small. Don't go near him. Shocking. Stay away from him. And do not go against Jim Buss either. He is uh. defending himself from his critics. The guys will fire back after the break. Stay here. This is first take. I knew you'd be the Benedict Arnold. I knew <laughs>